Have you got an old laptop gathering dust because it's too slow for modern Windows? Most modern Linux distributions come with polished interfaces and plenty of eye candy. But they can feel bloated on older gear. Enter Puppy Linux. It's not just a single operating system. It's a family of lightweight distributions designed to be insanely fast, small, and capable of reviving hardware you thought was ready for the recycler. Weighing in with an ISO usually under 600 megabytes to 700 megabytes, it's a tiny powerhouse that's been around since 2003. Puppy Linux is built differently. Its defining feature is that on boot, the entire distro is loaded into RAM. This means once it's running, it doesn't need to access your hard drive or USB stick for basic operations, making it lightning fast even on archaic hardware. Puppy isn't built from one single source either. There are puppies built using packages from Ubuntu, Debian, and Slackware. For instance, Bookworm Pup 64 gives you access to the massive Debian repository, while S15 PUP is based on Slackware 15. You can run it as a live CD or live USB, but many users prefer a frugal installation. This copies the core files to a folder on your drive, allowing you to run the OS in RAM while saving your personal data in a separate save file. Let's be honest, Puppy Linux won't win any beauty contest. The interface, often using the JWM window manager, looks a bit dated and old school, but it's highly customizable. You can change themes, fonts, and wallpapers easily. Out of the box, it's packed with lightweight tools for daily work. You'll typically find the Pele Moon or Firefox ESR browser, Abbey Word for word processing, and Ganymric for spreadsheets. For media, it often includes the MPV player and the Dead Beef audio player. If you need more, the Puppy Package Manager or Synaptic in Debian-based versions makes installing extra software relatively straightforward. There are even wizards that walk you through setting up Wi-Fi printers and firewalls. Now we have to talk about Puppy's unique security model. By default, you run everything as root. In the Linux world, this is controversial because it means the user has full control. And so does any malware that might break through the browser. However, supporters argue this makes sense for a single user environment where you want to see exactly what's happening on your machine. Because the core system is often read only, you can simply reboot without saving if you suspect something went wrong. This live nature makes it a legendary rescue distro. Forensic experts even use it to fix broken bootloaders or recover files from feisty operating systems that refuse to boot. So, is it for you? First, the pros. It's absurdly fast, works on 15-year-old PCs, and is perfect for a portable OS on a USB stick. It can even make a machine with just 2 gigabytes of RAM feel snappy again. Now, the cons. The puppy way of doing things isn't always intuitive for beginners. Finding specific software can sometimes require extra effort, and the community documentation can be a bit scattered across various forums. Puppy Linux is a niche tool, but it's a brilliant one. It's like a car that's been stripped down to its chassis, engine, and drivetrain. It's not luxurious, but it'll definitely go quicker. Whether you're reviving a 2010 netbook or keeping a rescue tool in your pocket, Puppy Linux still has plenty of bite. Have you tried Puppy Linux recently? Let us know which flavor is your favorite in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Linux reviews.